Hi there, I'm Drew Badger, the world's first and number one English fluency guide. And in this video, I'm going to answer a question I received from two different people. These are uh, Jason and Mohammed. So thanks for the question. And this is, how can I understand or learn to understand different accents? So different accents from different speakers. Not only in America are there different accents depending on where you live, like the North or the South or the East or the West or the Midwest. There are lots of different ways that people speak, even if they're using the same words. Uh, but not only that, between different countries as well. I don't sound like a British speaker. I suppose I could... I could try to speak like a British. I, I can't. I can't actually speak British English. I could probably like if somebody practiced with me. There's some British teachers out there. You want to do like a video where we could we could practice. You could try to speak uh, and like an American. I, I'm, I'm again. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it very well. But anyway, there are different accents uh, for different places, and it's a really like it's a pain in the ass to to learn with one thing. You're a learner, and you're like, okay, I'm trying to learn the American accent, but wow, there are many American accents, and okay, I also have to understand maybe some British speakers or Australians or you know people from South Africa or wherever. And even uh, beyond that, all the non-native speakers, because there are now more non-native speakers than native speakers of the English language, and they're also difficult to understand. So really, it can be quite confusing. Uh, so here's how you do it. Here's how you solve this problem. Now, all you really need to do is take the same information, and then you need to have it listened to, or you need to listen to it uh, spoken or said by different people. It's actually a really simple process, and it's more about finding good information. Uh, and so this is what you can do actually right here on YouTube when you're practicing uh, one of the basic things that I always teach people is to listen to music covers of different songs. So maybe you have the Beatles would have a very popular song, uh, like, um, whatever, I just like, like Sgt. Pepper or whatever. They're just different songs that the Beatles have that are covered by a lot of different other musicians, like, uh, maybe individual singers or whole bands. Uh, but to cover something just means that you take some music that is not yours and maybe you arrange it slightly, say it in a different way. But what you're doing here is you get maybe like John Lennon or Paul McCartney. These are, you know, singers from the Beatles that are saying something. But then you can have an American uh, that's also singing that uh, that same album or that same song or whatever. I think uh, like the whole the, the soundtrack to the movie I Am Sam, it's like nothing but covers of the Beatles. So if you listen to the actual Beatles song, but then listen to some other artist saying the same thing, it expands your range for being able to understand different speakers. So maybe like, again, a British person is saying it uh, or singing something in the case of a song, uh, or you get maybe a uh, an American or an Australian, anybody like that. So if I'm thinking like even, you know, children's music, uh, you can get different versions of this in like, just go on YouTube and look up like children's, uh, children's songs. And you'll hear the different versions of that depending on if it's like British whatever, like look up, look up even like, um, uh, like five little monkeys jumping on the bed. So I do like a song like this, uh, for my daughter, maybe she'll watch some videos on YouTube that are singing a song, but there are many different versions of that. So people will sing, uh, you know, whatever different versions of that. And she can hear the different intonations, the different accents, all these things, just by listening to the same thing in different ways. And this is exactly why we do this in Master English Conversation in the Fluency course. When people can listen to the one, the one thing, uh, like the one story or maybe like a couple of phrases and then hear a bunch of different people from different, uh, different parts of the world saying those things because you're getting listening practice. And when you're practicing with those people, so you practice shadowing with them, which means you're speaking at the exact same time, or you're just repeating with those people. But this is what, again, kind of stretches your accent. So I can listen to British speakers and I can, I can try to say like a, like a Cockney accent or like a British accent, you know, where I'm trying to sound like posh or whatever. And I, again, I like, I sound really bad. Even when I was living in England for a couple of, a uh, couple of months, uh, I couldn't speak very well. But anyway, it was like fun to try to copy what people were saying and have them try to do uh, an American accent. Anyway, if you're listening to people doing these things, it's really easy. So music covers is one way to do it. Another is looking for uh, maybe quotes by like famous quotes. So you look right up on YouTube for famous quotes by somebody or a famous speech uh, or a famous play or a famous 
again, anything that would be spoken by a number of people. So it could be a famous story, a famous song, anything like that. But again, you're looking for different versions of that thing spoken by different people. And also, if you can, uh, people from different countries. So America, Britain, uh, uh, Canada, Australia, any, any English speaking country or anybody really around the world that's saying that particular thing. So this is how you do it. This is how you develop the habit of doing it. You don't just listen to one person. Like don't just listen to me say something. You got to get lots of different people, uh, just the same way a native speaker does. And over time, not only listening, but you try to repeat what they say. So it's not just listening. You have to say it back. You have to repeat it along with people, uh, or shadow. Again, you're saying it at the same time people do, but that's what helps you get really excited and truly uh, able to understand all these different things. So it's the really simple thing, same content, different people, you know, different, however many different people you can get, but the more you can get, the better. Well, I hope I have answered that for both Jason and Muhammad and for anyone else that's, you know, trying to figure out how to understand uh, native speakers with different accents. But anyway, hopefully that solves it for you and you get out and you practice. Remember, it's not about just listening to people. It's about developing the habit of a native English speaker. So learn like a native English speaker if you want to sound like a native English speaker and be able to listen like one. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, do click that like button, become a subscriber to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And most importantly, if you struggle not only with maybe your accent or your listening in general, or you have any other problems with your fluency, click on the link in this video or on the link in the description below this video to take our free English fluency quiz. It will help you focus on exactly what you need to improve in order to become a confident fluent speaker. And I look forward to seeing you uh, as you take that quiz. Have a fantastic day. Click on the link to take that quiz and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.